Good morning, everyone. Right now, it is 4.10 a.m. It's literally 4 o'clock in the morning. So today, I am going to be flying to Atlanta for a fashion show. I'm up early because I need to go ahead and like shower, detangle my hair, um, all that good shit. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And yeah, I'll tap back in with y'all. Told you I always drink spearmint tea. One cup in the morning, one cup at night. y'all so i am done i kind of don't like how these pants do that got some tennis shoes and yeah i'm about to head over to the airport right now my driver is set to pick me up at 6 a.m but he's already here and i believe it's like 5:45. Okay guys, so I had to come to the bathroom and redo my hair at this fashion show. Um, I'll provide a before picture in it, but What's up guys? So it is Friday afternoon. I woke up really early this morning despite going to bed at 2 a.m. Whenever I travel to set, work my job, and then come back home that same day, I always wake up feeling so anxious and I think it's because um, I actually got this from Abraham Hicks, but splitting your energy, it really does feel that way. You know, meeting all kinds of people and being in more than one place and you know finally getting back home and just feeling just so uneasy i felt like i needed to come back to myself so that's what i did today just being able to actually take the day is such a privilege like i cannot stress this enough and i do not take it for granted because there's so many people they probably wake up you know feeling heavy or uneasy or having so much anxiety and they have to get up and go to work like they have to be at work or you have to get up and be a parent, you know, a mom or a dad. It's just people with responsibilities that they literally cannot avoid. So I am grateful for my position. So yeah, the fashion show was so much fun. I've done countless fashion shows, but this one, I don't know. It really just made me realize why I fell in love with Runway to begin with. Um, it's actually so crazy because when I started my modeling career, or not when I started my modeling career, but when I knew that I wanted to take modeling seriously and pursue it as a career, um, runway was what I always did, right? And when I got signed, I actually had someone discourage me from being a runway model. Just being there, I was like, wow, I miss this. Tomorrow I have a photo shoot, it'll be another early day. So I'm not gonna take you guys back through that process of waking up at 4 a.m. with me because I have to be on set by 7 a.m. for this shoot. And uh, unfortunately, because of what happened at the runway show with the hair, and we're not even gonna get into that about black models, what black models gotta go through with hair on set. 
usually i don't let people touch my hair she was really excited which kind of scared me actually like when someone's so excited to put their hands in my hair it's a red flag but i'm like you know what i'm gonna just let her do her thing and but anyways i have to be on set by 7 a.m good morning again everyone it's about to be 6 a.m and today's photo shoot is on the beach Okay guys, so we're having a girls night. Good morning everyone. So I'm currently at my best friend Lamb's house. I spent the night, so I don't have my tripod. I got you guys literally sitting on a cabinet in the bathroom. <laughs> I just wanted to close out this vlog and I hope you guys had so much fun just watching me with my productive week. It wasn't anything too crazy. Just had a girls night, a photo shoot, and some runway. And I really actually enjoyed making this vlog. So you guys have to let me know if you want more of these. I ate a lot of shit I was not supposed to eat last night. So I already woke up with a couple pimples, but it is what it is. You only live once. And I love, 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 love chocolates. I just had to, just one time. Clearly it hit me the next day pretty quick. I hope you guys had an amazing week and I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me.